So last week I was at a wedding and I took some photos with my S24 Ultra and while I was reviewing them I noticed that some of the photos were kinda soft as if they're out of focus. Now I've blurred out the faces for privacy but look at this. If I zoom in you'll notice that the photo is out of focus. The objects in the photo should be nice and clear like in this next photo. And then I realized that last year Samsung had changed a setting which prioritizes the speed of the camera over focus. So your Samsung phone is gonna take a photo even if the focus has not yet been set. And this is gonna result in you taking a blurry photo like this one. But fortunately there is a fix. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, what you wanna do is head on into the Galaxy store and from here, download an app called Camera Assistant. It's a part of Goodlock, but it's also available as a separate download. And this app contains a bunch of settings that are usually hidden from you. So once you have Camera Assistant on your phone, scroll down and enable Prioritize Focus Over Speed. Let me quickly demonstrate what kind of impact this setting has on the camera. So right now we've got the setting disabled and you'll see that the camera takes a photo even if the frame is out of focus or not completely set. As you can see that results in a blurry photo. This is because when you've got the setting disabled, the priority will be to quickly take a photo rather than wait for the camera to set the focus. I don't think this is a good idea because this is gonna result in many people taking blurry photos. But fortunately for us, we can change how the focus system works in the camera assistant. So once you switch on prioritize focus over speed, the camera is gonna wait until the focus is properly set and then it will take a photo, which will eventually result in better quality photos. But do keep in mind this adds a bit of shutter lag. But you do end up with photos with proper focus. And just to be 100% sure, here's a photo taken without the setting enabled. As you can see, it results in a blurry photo. But after enabling prioritize focus over speed, you can clearly see that the phone waits for the camera to focus and then it takes a photo which results in a properly focused photo. So it's totally worth changing this little setting. You also might have noticed that I've got some extra levels of zoom on my phone. This kind of makes zooming in faster because you can just tap on these with your finger. Now usually on an S24 Ultra you're gonna get 0.6, 1, 3, 5 and 10. But if you want more zoom levels, you can head on into the camera assistant add-on and then tap on zoom shortcuts. Now I think the 100 times option is pointless but you should absolutely enable the 2 times remosaic zoom on your phone. Why? Because this is gonna give you photos which are as good as as if they were taken using an actual dedicated telephoto lens. So to demonstrate, let us first take a photo without any zoom and then we're gonna take another photo with the 2 times remosaic setting. And you'll see that the photo taken at 2 times zoom is as good as the photo taken without any zoom. So yeah, feel free to use the 2 times zoom option whenever you feel like. Alright, so that's it. We're gonna keep this video short. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.